I like sanding moths. They can get chucked up in your, your drill um, or your drill press. They're useful for sanding curves or different shapes, uh, small parts. And in theory, uh, the concept of them, they're really simple to make. But here's the thing about uh, making a sanding mop and deciding if you want to do it. This is the spoiler alert. This is what <laughs> you might wait till the end to find out. But whatever you use to cut your sandpaper, uh, cut the strips, it, be it a bandsaw blade, jigsaw blade, scroll saw blade, whatever you use is going to get destroyed. Not just dulled, but destroyed. And I didn't fully appreciate that when I went into building these. But just understand that from the beginning. That, yeah, this is a really simple idea. Um, but weigh it against the, the notion that you're going to have to destroy a bandsaw blade or the cost of a couple scroll saw or jigsaw blades. So as long as you understand that, then this can be really useful if you want to make them on your own. You can buy them commercially, but if you want to make one, just factor that in. I have any, this is really self-explanatory as far as this goes. You're cutting your sandpaper down to size and then creating basically a template for cutting it into the thin strips. And I recommend that you cut those strips at around three eighths of an inch, uh, maybe a quarter inch if you're gonna do a smaller one. And that's another thing with this is the, the mop I'm making here is really, it doesn't need to be this big and it definitely doesn't need to be this thick. I should have cut this down in stages instead of doing it all at once. Um, this did work for me, but again, I, I destroyed my bandsaw blade and uh, it, it was a good blade. I did not realize it would, it would just really, really blunt it as, as much as it did. So, um, again, keep that in mind. You, you'll throw some sparks too. So don't be surprised at that, but I don't recommend using a bandsaw. It, it definitely works well, but I don't recommend it because of the cost. Um, if anything, get a couple cheap um, scroll saw or jigsaw blades. And again, go smaller. I realized that halfway through this and I, I instead of making this a, a larger one, I cut this in half. So I could have got by from the start with half of these sheets and you really can make a, a smaller one than I'm making here. This one is about, oh, I forget, six or se six, six, seven inches long. It doesn't need to be that big. You can get by with a lot less and still make it really effective. It doesn't need to be as thick as I made it. So keep that in mind. Um, just some basic hardware, really a flat washer that's going to be wide and hold it. And then when you assemble it, you want to take your sandpaper and match and uh, reverse the side so that you've got sanding edges on both the top and the bottom. That's really it. In this way, I'm just angling it just a little bit differently as I spin around and add more. And again, this one turns out to be fairly thick, but it doesn't need to be. That's all well and good, but it doesn't need to be this thick. So you don't have to, you know, destroy a whole bunch of blades if you don't make it as kind of big as this one is. So that's it. Chuck it up. You're ready to go. I used, this one was a, a quarter inch, 20 bolt that I used for this one. Uh, three eighths works well as well. Half inch, any of those work, whatever will fit in your drill or your drill press. I don't use it in the drill very much. I use it in the drill press far more. And when you first build it, you want to get a sort of scrap piece of wood and kind of jam it in there and mesh up all of the, the little strips of sandpaper so that they're interweaving and uh, pretty messy. 
But otherwise, this is really good for sounding various things, even 3D printed parts for, I mean, like say, smaller parts or curved parts. Um, it's definitely not precise, and if you use an ag aggressive grit, then um, it, it can take off a lot really, really quickly. So be careful with it too. Um, this is an example I was I was going to try after realizing how badly I messed up my bandsaw. I just thought I'd try the jigsaw and scroll saw. Again, I'm I'm being too aggressive here. I'm putting too much sandpaper in, and I'm starting with this is not a bimetal this is just a basic metal blade and it went for all of three cuts so I need to use less sandpaper and again you'll go through multiple blades so can't see it very well but the the teeth on that are just destroyed and also <laughs> really hot <laughs> even through the gloves of course <laughs> so scroll saw same thing I, and here I didn't tape it down, I was just throwing this on here. Um, I should have clamped this together and taped it down. I found that trying to do it freehand like this, the blade was wandering a lot. And again, it, it chewed through the blade pretty quick. So that's the main thing to keep in mind, is just be prepared to go through several blades. Don't need to cut through as many layers of sandpaper. And uh, with that in mind, give it a try.